Ongata Longai Branch Sanctuary is located about an hour away by car from Nairobi Manmin Church in Kenya. This is the Sunday worship of Ongata Branch Sanctuary. It is impressive to see the children of the Sunday school singing happily next to the choir spirit field and joyful praise. They are offering worship with the heart. A cute little girl is toddling about the street. She is chasing after the neighborhood kids waving her pink skirt. What testimony does this little girl have, walking happily with her mom? Let's meet it now. Hallelujah! I am Wilter Jaboke. I started to attend Nairobi Mamin Church in 2010 by the guidance of Brother Napta. Reverend Myung-ho Chung taught us about the love of the Lord and also about spirit, soul, and body in details. And I learned a lot about heaven. I used to think that there was only one dwelling place in heaven, but now I have come to know that heaven is divided into several places. I was happy to know this fact. Wilter Jaboke has been steadily growing in faith while being taught with the words of holiness and knowledge of the Spirit. By the way, she had one problem. I have two children. One is Gloria Guaboka and the other is Rebecca Boshiburi. They are twins and one of them had a problem. There was no problem when I was pregnant, but nine months after I gave, to, gave birth to twins, Gwaboka got a problem. I noticed the problem that when she became one year old, Gwaboka couldn't stand up on her own and she, her legs were very weak. I took her to the hospital uh, for examination, and the doctor said that she had a problem with her knees. She was born with weak knee bones. She received massage, massage treatment for three months, but nothing changed. The therapist said it was hard. He said Gwaboka would never be able to walk and asked to stop the treatment. Her doctors also said that uh, she would not get better and suggested to go to another hospital, but I decided not to go to another hospital, but to rely on God. I am Eunice Kerugo, Wilter's neighbor. I took care of Wilter's twins. One walked well, but the other couldn't walk well. So I asked her why the child couldn't walk. Then Wilter said she would, she would one day. Wilto Jaboke stopped using worldly methods and wanted her daughter to be healed by faith. One day, when she was living a diligent life of faith, there was an opportunity that gave her faith that her child could walk. One day in September last year, I had a strange dream. I was, it was one morning in, a, in the dream. I was watching my daughter Guaboka come down from her bed and walk step by step. 
I was really surprised to see it. The dream gave me hope that she could walk, and I began to repent and pray to the Lord more earnestly. In doing so, I discovered what I was lacking in the past. Ongata Longai Sanctuary is about 12 kilometers away from where I live. I have four children, and I was often late for service to prepare three-year-old twins. I remembered it. So I repented of being late for worship service and prayed that I would be able to give offerings from the bottom of my heart more. Also, when you spend time with many people, there may be misunderstandings. So I always looked back upon myself if there was anything wrong I did to them, and I prayed to make peace with my neighbors. Although I am always busy with work, I mostly watch family TV when I have free time or when I am at home. She gets spiritual fullness through family TV from time to time. Family TV is the largest Christian broadcast in Africa, which broadcasts various programs of m o m i n s such as sermons and prayer for the sick. On one Friday in October, a month after w i l t e r had a dream, I was cooking and my kids were watching family TV. After Dr. Gerard Lee's sermon ended, the prayer for the sick began. I also laid my hands on g w a b o k a s aching knees and began to receive the prayer earnestly. If only my child could walk through the prayer. Also, on this day, w i l t e r Jaboke put her hand on her daughter's sore knees and received the prayer through the screen with more earnestness. The next morning, I came home from work in the evening. When I got home, my children told me that k w a b o k a got up and came to walk on her own. I couldn't believe k w a b o k a could walk. Since she was sleeping, I waited some time until she woke up. I felt so thrilled, and I wanted to quickly see k w a b o k a walking. After she woke up, I put her down on the floor to see if she could walk. Then she started walking around the house on her own. She loved walking around so much that she didn't flop or cuddle like she used to be before. She looks lovely and bright to toddle. I was so amazed and delighted when I saw k a b o k a walking. I asked Wilter, a mother, how k a b o k a came to walk. She said that she had received the prayer for the sick through TV with faith. I told Wilter that her church was the true church, and I asked her to take me to the church where her daughter was healed.
The appearance of Gaboka, who works well, makes people smile. The healing of this lovely Gwaboka helped her mother grow in faith and brought joy and happiness to those around her as well. I'm Pastor George, who is in charge of Ongata Longai Sanctuary. The child who was unable to walk came to walk well through the prayer of Dr. Gerald Lee. I think it's amazing power of God. This testimony has been a great blessing not only to her family and neighbors, but also to the members of Longai Sanctuary. I give thanks and glory to the Lord who healed the wheelchair's daughter, Gwaboka. I am very grateful for the prayer of uh, love from Dr. j e r g l i and Reverend Myung Ho Jung. I heard many kinds of words about the reason why my child could not walk in my family before, but after she came to walk well, such words disappeared. So I was more glad and thankful. Now I am free to attend church without any restrictions. After the sermon of the senior pastor, the prayer for the sick follows. I like that time the most. It's because we are blessed through his prayer for the sick. I'm fasting every Tuesday for four months now. There are prayer titles I mainly pray for. First, I'm praying for many souls to come to the arms of God. Second, I pray, I'm praying to help me to live a spirit-filled Christian life with constant prayer and grace. Third, I prayed with fasting for my daughter to be able to walk, and God answered to this third prayer title, so I gave thanks to God. I personally experienced that God is with m a m i n through the words and prayer of Dr. j e r o m Lee and Reverend Byung Ho Jung. I experienced God's hands through m a m i n and I believe that other m a m i n members have the same experience as me. I send my regards to Dr. j e r o m Lee I and my family love him. I hope that he will continue to pray for my family and Nairobi Mamin Church. Friday on the service of Nairobi Mamin Church in Kenya. m a m i Magazine is being shown before the sermon. Kwaboka and her mom are both looking at the screen with their eyes fixed on it. And this Kwaboka is the main character of today's m a m i Magazine. The story how her mother w i l t e Jabuke showed faith for her child's healing and this wonderful testimony of healing through the power of Dr. j e r o b Lee will be a challenge of faith for other people today. Senior Pastor Dr. j e r o b Lee, thank you, love you. Hallelujah.